Hey, what's going on, everybody? So the Packers have hired a, another coach. It came out here from Packers.com in the past day or so. The Green Bay Packers have hired Jason Rebrovich as outside linebackers coach. Head coach Matt LaFleur made the announcement Friday. Rebrovich, that's how you say it, brings 20 years of coaching experience to the Packers, including eight seasons in the, in the NFL with the Buffalo Bills 2013 to 2016 and the Jacksonville Jaguars 2017 to 2020. He most recently served as Jacksonville's defensive line coach in 2019 and 2020. So first off, starting off, the Packers did, or Mike Smith, Packers outside linebackers coach, did decide to leave Green Bay. He's been with the Packers the past three seasons, and they really have seen their outside linebacker group play very, very well with Rashawn Gary year after year improving, with Preston Smith playing an elite level, Zadarius Smith playing great when he has played. Besides this past season, and we don't know what's going to happen with Zadarius or Preston, really, with the cap situation, but... Outside linebackers coach who was with the Packers did decide to move on. The Packers brought this guy in as well. This is a other excerpt from the Packers.com article saying, In 2019, Rubbervich oversaw the development of de defensive end Josh Allen, who led all NFL rookies and broke the single-season franchise record for rookies with 10.5 sacks on his way to earning all rookie honors from the PFWA. Rubbervich also tutored defensive lineman Clayus Campbell, who was named to his third consecutive Pro Bowl in 2019, and defensive end Yannick Ngakwe, who was the only player in the league in 2019 with eight plus sacks, multiple forced fumbles, and an interception return for a touchdown. So it does seem that he has been in the same place as some very talented players. Um, and I feel like when you look at that, when you look at you know where coaches were with players when they're playing very well or developing, obviously the coach has to do something with that. I don't know how much at times because clearly the players you know play at a certain talent level. And but I do think you know coaches can get more out of players clearly. And it seems that when he was there, players were playing well. So. Hopefully this is a good hire. Hopefully he comes in and the Packers offense or outside linebacker group continues to ascend. And um, looking at this group, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. I'd say especially with Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith, with both of them having very large cap numbers and being able to save lots of money, releasing one of them, or I guess trading someone, trading them if they could trade them. I think Zadarius makes the most sense just because I think we save, I forget the numbers, 15 mil, 12 mil, something like that. A lot of money to release Zadarius Smith. Um, so that could potentially happen. What will happen then from there? Maybe the Packers use their first round draft pick on, you know, an edge rusher and outside linebacker to fill that hole, to have some more depth at that position. I think that's definitely um, a possibility for the Packers, but just want to come in and break that news, share that news with you guys. Maybe you guys have already seen it, but I just wanted to share it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Drop a like on the video if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, I put out Packers content and NFL content almost daily. So feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more of this content, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.